Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tuvas, and I'm here today to give you guys a little bit of gameplay footage of this game called Besiege. Now, if you haven't heard of it before, Besiege is basically a catapult simulator game, so to speak. It's a way to play with the physics of the game. You create these, uh, these vehicles, these catapults, these even flying machines to complete objectives assigned to you depending on the zone that you play in. Now, uh... Honestly, it's probably a lot easier for me just to show you what I mean, but uh, let's just go ahead and get on with it. Alright, so this is what you have to play with. You got these little uh, different zones here with uh, different objectives depending on the zone you're in. And uh, I've already completed all of them, so let's just go ahead and start with the very first one, which is all the way down here. Alright, so this is what I mean. So this is where your creative side needs to come in. Your objective is to destroy this house. Now, how do you go about that? Now, there's a lot of ways you could do it. You can overkill it by, you know, creating this gigantic catapult that launches, like, three bombs at it all at once. Or you could do something very simple, just create a car and just run it into it. So it's as simple as taking this thing called the wooden block and then placing one of those in front and two in the back. Putting wheels on the corners of it, just like this. And keep in mind is that these keys are, if you hover over the icon, it'll tell you how to control the motor, in this case the motor wheel. You press up to go forward and down to go back. Uh, now that we have our little nice little car, we can go ahead and ram this house. So let's try that. Where is the thing? Ah, here it is, the play button. Zoom, zoom! Yeah! Wow, that was the slowest car ever. <laughs> anyway, so my objective was to destroy the house, so I definitely did it. Now let's move on. So now we have to destroy this windmill. Unfortunately, it's going to be a little harder to do with this car because you've got this little piece of land right here. Now I could run up it and destroy it, but that kind of defeats the uh, the fun. So let's go ahead and create something that should destroy that. We need to drop this down to the ground so we can make this a little bit taller. And let's see. Ah, let's go kind of uh, BattleBot style on this and destroy it with a saw. Ah, that's what I wanted. Alright, here we go. Let's go take this thing out. Yeah! Battle bots! <laughs> oh, I missed that show. I heard it's coming up on, uh... They're coming back to TV pretty soon. Alright, here we go. Let's see. So this is going to be a little more complicated considering I have to reach the insignia over there. But I have to avoid these landmines. Now, I'm going to try doing it. As I am right now, it's not going to be possible because I have no way of turning. But this is what happens. I just go up in flames, and anything that catches fire just gets destroyed. You can't use it anymore. So you're going to have to create a more maneuverable vehicle. Is that You don't have to go through this maze. You can actually just go completely around. <laughs> and you can avoid all the landmines entirely, but where's the fun in that? I mean, it's not like that... God... Go completely around and avoid this last mine right here because it looks like people have done that pl plenty of times before and just beat the mission. Alright. Now, this is a fun one because your objective is to destroy the buildings from the first two missions, but now they're behind this wall which is guarded by a bunch of archers. So if you try and get over there, they're going to be shooting at you constantly and basically not give you the enough time to destroy. I mean, you can destroy it pretty easily, but. Where's the fun in that? Why would you want to destroy it so easily and not go through what the developers set you on set you on the path of? Especially when it's as fun as this. So let's go ahead and go to the weapon section, weaponry, and then choose the cannon. Do that and attach that to the front of the car and lower it back down to the ground. Do this, and if you the in order to use the cannon, you press C, so hit play and shoot. Boom! Yeah! Now just keep in mind they are on fire, so if you were to drive through them, you will catch your vehicle on fire. And then it will eventually disintegrate and you can no longer use it. So, just keep that in mind. Just do that and go around. Go around it, don't bother driving through it. Just go around. And, oh crap! Okay, yeah. That was close. <laughs> and destroy these buildings. It's as simple as ramming them. There you go. Ooh, ah! Uh, ah! I could do it. I could do it still. God damn it. 
All right, this is gonna take a little more effort. Let me do a combination of this plus my earlier build with the saw. Now guys, uh, even though you're, it tells you the control to turn the hinge, the steering hinge is left and right. So obviously right now, if I were to turn left, the wheels turn, but so does the arm. And I don't really want that. So I wanna separate out the two motions. So in order to do that, I click on this key mapper, this little wrench icon, click on the hinge, and then click on it. Then I could set it to any other key I want. In this case, I'll probably want it set to left control, or I mean right control, and then the number pad zero. That way, it doesn't interfere with my actual steering of the vehicle. So let me destroy that. So now I could still drive and not worry about this thing turning at the same time. So, is this gonna be long enough? I don't think it is. Nope, not gonna be long enough. Shit, do, do, do. ah, god damn it! No, 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 no. <sighs> I feel like my design is a little flawed, so I'm going to try something else. Alright, this is a lot better. I feel like this should be enough to take out this entire map. So let's go ahead and try this out. Boom! Got rid of those guys. Now I have these set to like, train, uh, like as if they are tank treads, so there is no steering hinge. I just activate one set of wheels or the other set of wheels. And if I put both one side in reverse, the other one forward, I could turn it. So let's just go destroy these two houses. Let's see if I can aim this right. Number three, fire! Yeah! Number one, fire! Yeah! <laughs> All right, we're moving on. Oh man, oh, I'm so glad I made this tank. <laughs> Kill 90% of everyone. If I remember right, that's basically all these knights. I don't have to worry about the archers in the back because 90% is probably just the guys that are going to be running at me anyways. So, the trick here is to simply go like this. Man, this is like grape juice everywhere. Oh yeah. Come on. You know what? I think I'm going to see if I can't hit those archers. <laughs> it's like bowling. Down the alley. Yeah. Too bad I'm not getting a strike. Ah, that's funny. My, in the meantime, my tank is turning into a porcupine. Oh no, I lost a wheel. Dang it. Come on, just a little more. There we go. Okay. Next zone. Oh, look at that explosion. Actually, it's, I wonder how much damage my tank can take. Because I see a mine right here. Let's see. Boom! Oh, I caught fire. Oh well. Anyways, next. Right. So, this is supposed to be the mission where you use the grabbing tool. This guy right here. See, as fun as that is, I, I feel like it could be even more fun by using cannons. Or maybe a catapult even. I wonder if there's a way you can use a catapult. Let's try this out. <laughs> All right, boys, here we go. <laughs> this is how I'm going to beat all these missions from now on. I did not make this myself. I took this from someone online who has a YouTube video of it. I just copied what he had and used it myself. This is a mini unfolding catapult. It has a bunch of pistons connected to it and has four wheels. And it has the tank tread idea where I can power just one set of the wheels at a time to steer. So uh, let's have some fun with this. This, is, this thing is adorable. Look at it. It's like a toy car. <laughs> All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, so I, f I think I could just push that one so I don't have to worry about wasting my ammunition on this. But I should use it right away because this is in fact an explosive bomb. So if I'm not careful, I can easily destroy myself like that. Ugh. Come on. All right, this should be close enough. And launch! Oh my god, that's a- oh my god! Okay, I don't know if that can crush me! Okay, that should be slow enough. Alright, now just nudge it. Alright, cool. I just need to push it over to that sphere thing. That sphere grid object that reminds me of, Fa reminds me of Final Fantasy X. It's like one of the- one of the temples. Those little spheres that you- Ah! That you put on the walls so you can open up the different puzzles of the temple. What is it called again? The, uh... The glyph sphere or something like that. Uh, it shows the glyph on the wall when you replace it. Anyways, done with that mission. That was pretty easy. 
Oh, man. Okay, so I'm supposed to destroy that. If I remember right, that guy is... Actually, no, this one's pretty easy. It's just going to be hard to aim that high. So, Because normally I use a cannon for that. But since I just have this tiny catapult that doesn't reach all that far, I'm going to have to walk up to it. So, let's see. If I hit H, let's see the distance. Okay, that goes pretty far. How can I aim? Holy shit, what was that? Oh my god. I didn't know it could do that. What the hell? <laughs> it's like a laser beam. So if I edge up, where does it start shooting me? Oh, and that's where it starts shooting. Oh man, it catches things on fire. Okay, 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 I got this. I got this. And we're going! Yeah! Got you! Oh, I'm not even on fire! Yeah! Celebratory sheep kill! Next zone. Ah, this should be pretty easy. Ah, yeah, this one's this one's simple for the little guy. There we go. Good job. <laughs> He's so cute. Whenever he launches a thing with so much force, it knocks himself over. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. There we go. Okay, he's back on top. All right, let's move on. All right. All right, destroy 90% of everything, which includes knights, tents, and cannons. All right, I think the strategy should I should be I should wipe out the first set of knights with my bomb. I think the cannons will run out of ammo if I remember right, so I can wait till those run out of ammo, then I'll just run over all the archers. I don't think they could kill me, so let's go ahead and try that strategy. First kill the knights. Boom. Done. Let the cannons run out. Ow. Wow, that does... Ah, crap. My wheel. Hmm. It's going to be a lot harder than I thought. It's all the knights. There we go. Now just run forward. Kill the archers before they destroy your shit. Oh, hey, the cannons are dead. Oh, how'd that happen? I don't know how I did that. Uh, I wish it was easier to kill these guys, though, instead of just running them over. Ah, oh, come on, really? Yeah. No, my wheel! Ah, oh, there should be an easier way to do this. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. I gonna I can totally eat this guy. Nom nom nom. <laughs> oh, I have to kill I have to destroy these tents now. <laughs> oh. oh god, that's really high up. I don't think that attacks me, but it's gonna be a pain in the butt to kill. So, let's see, if I do this, and I kind of aim upward, right, right, there we go, that should be good enough, and launch! Ah, shh, god damn it. Okay, let's try this again. Sheep, get away. I need to, <sighs> come on. God damn it, sheep, move! Ah. <sighs> need to aim to the right a bit, and... There we go, this should do it. This should do it. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! That wasn't too bad. Alright. Next zone. Alright, this looks like it's gonna be a lot harder to do with this toy machine. Mm. Let's see. I, I don't think the thing will reach that high. Dang. Alright. How's this gonna work? I think I have an idea. I think I have an idea. If I take cover here, because I need to be careful because they could destroy the bomb. <sighs> okay. I need to be quick about it. <laughs> so if I do that, same idea. So if I do this, <sighs> over here, turn, turn, dodge the arrows, dodge the arrows, dodge the arrows. Okay, don't kill the bomb. God damn. Dodge arrows! Oh my god! Zoom, zoom! Zoom, zoom! I feel like this is far more difficult than it needs to be. I wonder if I could approach it from behind. Let me try that. I wonder if this is a better idea. Because I have cover over there. Ah, turn. Ah, turn. Oh my god. They are getting so close. They are getting so close. Ah! Okay. Yeah, I should be safe. Okay, so I'm going to go in from behind. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go in from behind and penetrate the back wall. 
Going from behind! Ah! Gah, that didn't work. Aw. I swear, these, these archers are getting more accurate as time passes. Okay, so, I think I figured it out. I just noticed that whenever I drive forward and backward, my machine tends to tilt forward and back because it goes way too fast for its own good. Start again? Nope. It's come to... Dang it! <laughs> I think this is it, boys. I think this is it. Nope, nope. I need... Yeah! There it is! Son of a bitch! Oh, that is really frustrating. Okay. Yeah! Oh! Really? <gasps> yeah! Oh my god, thank you! I killed every single archer bow and please die. Please die. Topple over. Okay, you know what? You're about to die. You are about to die. Are you ready for this? Are you... You are going to be eaten, whether you like... Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, I do not have a grabber and this is one of the f the only stage even tells you the hint is to use the grabber because there is no way I'm going to win this. Oh, without it. Oh, God. I feel like I don't need this. I'm going to have to push these things up. I don't know how. I should be able to knock it up. Oh. No. Uh, push it up. Maybe one of the other blocks will be better. Here we go. Hurrah! No, that didn't work. I should be able to use the explosion to knock one of these blocks onto the top layer. So let's try that really quick. Now back off. Oh my god, don't! <sighs> I have to aim just to the side of that log block. This should be far enough. Let's try it. Oh no, I don't think it has enough force. Okay, let's try. Oh no, no it doesn't. Oh no, how am I gonna do this? Ah. I'm not giving up on this toy car, it can do it. I believe in it. I will believe in it as long as... Wait. Wait a minute, I think I know how to do it. Wait a minute, I think I know how to do it. Do you guys see it? Do you guys see it? See that? Oh my god. The jaws of the toy car! They are my savior once again! <gasps> oh my god! Oh, come on, you can do it, buddy! You can do it! It's like it's a little... It's like it's a little robot! It's like standing on its legs! Come on, you can do it! You can do it! Come on, yes! <gasps> oh my god! Ah, oh, I feel so accomplished. Ah, oh, that was amazing. What's next? Ah, this will make up for all the all the pain and suffering I had in those last two maps. Forward, yeah. There we go. Took down a few, I think. All right, time to mow the lawn. I will perform the mating call. <laughs> that draws him to me. Om nom nom. Oh, that's right. I keyed him. Ah. <laughs> Enter my mouth. Enter it. Enter it. <laughs> Oh my god, this thing is hilarious. Oh yeah. Enter my mouth. Oh man. <laughs> so much fun. So much fun. Oh no, 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 no. Ah, these things just get harder. Okay. Let's try this. So the objective is to make it up this ramp and pass those three checkpoints. All right. Oh, crap. Uh, it doesn't help that I have this bomb. Ah, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Oh, there goes a wheel. There goes both wheels on the side. Ah, uh, man. Oh. Duh. I have a bomb. All I have to do is hit that one. Launch. Yeah. Oh, what happened? There we go. No, come on. There we go. All right. Now to make up the sill. This is a challenge in itself. Luckily, I'm an awesome little toy car that can travel through any terrain. 
Checkpoint 1. Checkpoint 2. And checkpoint 3. Yeah! Did I make it? Oh, I'm on my side. I'm on my back. Wait. Yeah, I'm all in one piece. Dude, that's pretty awesome. This toy car is pretty resilient. I didn't lose any pieces. And finally, Winfrith's... Winfrith's Keep. Uh, I'm stretching. Winfrith's Keep is going to go down. I don't see any archers. It's nothing but knights. This is the final battle. Oh, I can't eat these guys, though. Okay, castle first, then eat. We will destroy this castle first, and then we will feast. Hurrah! There we go. Hopefully that's enough. Nom nom nom! Oh my god. No! No! It was too spicy! I need to aim for that little corner right there. Okay, let's do that. And then up. Oh. There we go. That'll do it. Alright. It's time to feast. Nom 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 nom. Get in my mouth. Get in my mouth. Get in my mouth. Yeah! <laughs> uh, come on. I want the last thing to win this mission to be a soldier. Come on, get over here. Yeah! No! Is he gonna be the last one? I don't know if he is. Do I have to destroy one more object? Oh, I think I have to destroy one more object. I don't know if- I want the last one to be the knight, though. No! Ah, screw it. Come here! No! I said come here! No, no. Come here! You will be remembered as the one who's supplied my growth. Nom nom! Oh, there's another one over there. Alright. Anyways, guys. I believe this is the last mission, so after this victory feast, I will bid you adieu. Okay, guys. So, my game crashed right as I said that. So, uh, I'm going to use this time to say thank you guys for watching. Uh, please leave a like if you guys liked the video. If you really liked it, go ahead and favorite it. Uh, I don't know how many people really do that nowadays. And also, uh, I will be releasing new videos um, and now that it's the year 2015. I know I've said that before, but I spent pretty much all of 2014 losing about 50 to 55 pounds. And uh, what I do plan on doing is releasing a few you know, vlogging videos uh, talking about how I put, how I was able to drop the weight and techniques I used and how I went about it, but it basically revolved around calorie counting. Anyway, so let me know if you guys think that would be interesting. Uh, if you like this video, let me know, and I'll go ahead and make more besiege videos. So, anyways, latest.